Library Director in the state of Oregon, Todd Dunkelberg. Thank you, Chantal. Uh, I did want to take a moment out tonight. Um, I decided to become a librarian uh, a long time ago because I was looking for a profession that would bring dignity to my life. So here we are. All right, welcome. 21st annual A Novel Idea Unveil. All right, it is so great to be back live. Um, tonight we have our ever popular trivia contest and we'll unveil the 2024 A Novel Idea selection. And we will have this year's Novel Idea books available to uh, check out or purchase from Polina Springs Books. All right, just in time for the holidays, you can buy some of the extra Novel Idea books for friends and loved ones. We also have author-author tickets on sale at the Library Foundation's website. And you don't want to miss the three fine authors we have for 2024. Uh, this year I have Anne Lamont in February. Uh, Stephanie Land, author of Made and Class, coming in March. And Braiding Sweet Grasses, Robin Wall Kimmer, Kimmer and May. So get your author-author tickets soon. Uh, a special shout out to Blue Bite Catering for the delicious appetizers this evening. Uh, I'd like to thank them for making the extra raw fish for me. Uh, make sure to continue to enjoy the food and beverages after tonight's announcements. Uh, a novel idea has been sponsored by the Deschutes Public Library Foundation for 21 years, and we greatly appreciate the hard work of our Library Foundation board members who find the sponsors and donors to pay for all aspects of a novel idea. I'd like to recognize our dedicated library staff and volunteers who keep this amazing event running, and to the hundreds of presenters, partners, readers, and sponsors who have supported our efforts during the last 21 years. Our longest running sponsors of novel idea are the ECHO Fund, the E.H. and M.E. Bowerman Advised Fund of the Oregon Community Foundation, the Roundhouse Foundation, and Lanza. These loyal sponsors continue to make it possible for us to keep the programs free and accessible for all people. The Roundhouse Foundation generously granted the library a three-year pledge of $10,000 per year to continue to expand a novel idea outreach uh, within our communities. So we greatly appreciate the Roundhouse Foundation and our other sponsors for their generosity and partnerships. So what is the process for deciding our selection? Every spring we gather members from across Deschutes County uh, to read and recommend books to the Novel Idea Advisory Committee. This year's wonderful community readers were Michelle Clements, Kayla Duncan, Kelly Jones, Jan Martin, Rhea Pockerney, uh, Dion Stonehouse, and Nancy Tyler. So thank you, readers. So after they read and finish their work, they provide a very large list of books to the Novel Idea Advisory Committee to read and select the top three. And then I have the honor of approving the final read based on which one I think will be most dignified for me later. Uh, this year's A Novel Idea Advisory Committee was comprised of Paige Bentley Flannery, uh, Cynthia Claridge, Cassie Clements, uh, Joel Clements, uh, Stacy Donahue, Paige Farrow, Liz Goodrich, Elsa Hager, uh, LaVon Medlock, and Laurel Westendorf. Thank you. Also special thanks to the more than 140 book clubs that year after year include a novel idea uh, book on their schedule. If you're in a book club and want to be on our mailing list, please sign up uh, on one of the clipboards that are circulating around. Uh, also, don't forget to stop by the Novel Idea selfie frame and take a photo. <laughs> All right, the part that scares me the most every year, trivia. Uh, 
Okay, we're heading to the major highlight here. Lucky winners of the trivia will receive a copy of this year's selection. Uh, please raise your hands if you know the answer to the trivia question. Don't call out the answer. Elsa and Becca uh, are here to help. And are you ready? Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Question number one. Anne Griffith's novel, Griffin's novel, Listening Still, a 2023 novel idea selection. Uh, the protagonist, Jeannie Masterson, has an unusual talent that makes her an ideal undertaker. Name the talent. Yes, in the scarf right in the front. Yes, that's correct. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's see if we can make this harder. Uh, in 2016, we read Ruth Ozeki's novel, A Tale for the Time Being. While coming the beach following a tsunami, the narrator of the novel discovers something that has washed ashore. Gray sweater, a diary. No. Mm. A lunchbox. Are we looking for specifics? Uh, yeah, no, but. What do you think? What kind of lunchbox do you think it was? You, you win anyway. A metal lunchbox. <laughs> metal lunchbox. What might have been on the lunchbox? Oh. Not a shark. Do Terror. we have an answer here? A Hello Kitty. A Hello Kitty lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We could, could we give two? Can we give two out? <laughs> you do. You, you guys are the judges. I'm just reading. All right. We have enough, right? Okay. You're, they're debating your future right here. <laughs> I, I, we need four. How many do we have? Yeah. You one. Yeah. Do go ahead. Do it. Yeah. 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 No, no. It, this is it's. It, it's. It was worth it just to watch that transaction. <laughs> All right. Rules of Civility by Amor Tolls. One of our favorite authors, Tolls, has gone on to publish two more bestsellers. Uh, name one, and for double bragging rights, name them both. Yes, at the end of the tunnel. Um, that is correct. Oh, I got them both. Got Lincoln both. Highway and a gentleman in Moscow. Okay. I just want you to know that I've read every single one of these books, and I never know the answers. Uh, the night Effia Ocher was born into the musky heat of Fantaland, a uh, fire raged, raged through the woods just outside her father's compound, is the opening line of our 2017 selection written by Yaw Jesse. Uh, name the novel. Yeah. Rose, Rosalie Ironwing is the main character in our 2022 novel idea selection. Name the novel. Yes, by the pillar. That's correct. All right, wait, what do we do? We need... <laughs> we have... Would you like to sign this? And that will be the official have... certificate. <laughs> Sorry, folks, we're short one certificate. So you get a you win sign from Todd. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, that wasn't my last page, was it? Okay. There we go. All right. All right, now, uh, what you've all been waiting for. Uh, we will be revealing the 21st annual A Novel Idea Selection. Uh, and then we will have a message from the author. So tonight we have district board member Ann Malkin. There you go. And let's see, and we have foundation member Michelle Anderson. Where's the other? Oh, she has the other end. Okay. All right, you ready? Uh, I need a drum roll, please. Okay, 
So, Shark's Heart, Shark Hearts author Emily Habeck has a BFA in theater from Southern Methodist University's Meadows School of the Arts, as well as master's degrees from Vanderbilt Divinity School and Vanderbilt's Peabody College. Her debut novel, Shark Heart, uh, was a book of the month selection, a New York Times book reviews editor's choice, and the number one indie next pick for August 2023. She is from Ardmore, Oklahoma, and currently lives in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, also, we have our children's selection, No Matter the Distance, by author Cindy Baldwin, who has written the crit critically acclaimed novels Where the Watermelons Grow, Beginner's Welcome, The Stars of Whistling Ridge, and No Matter the Distance, a Junior Library Guild selection. She lives just outside of Portland, Oregon, with her husband and daughter. And now, a short video for you. My name is Emily Habeck, and I am the author of Shark Heart. Shark Heart is a story about daughterhood, motherhood, marriage, and transformation, and it is also a love story featuring at its core, Ren and her husband, Louis, a man who over the course of nine months gradually transforms into a great white shark. I am so, so honored and excited to be the author selected for next year's novel idea, and I can't wait to meet the amazing community of readers in beautiful Bend, Oregon in June 2024. Hello to the wonderful readers of Deschutes County. My name is Cindy Baldwin, and I'm a fellow Oregonian, as well as the author of the middle grade novel, No Matter the Distance. I'm so thrilled that this book, which is very close to my heart, has been chosen for the Deschutes Library, a novel idea program in 2024. When I was six months old, I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. CF is a serious, life-shortening genetic illness that can cause many problems, including frequent lung infections or pneumonia. Growing up, I never found a book that had a main character who was like me. So when I became an author, I decided to write one. No Matter the Distance is the story of Penny, an 11-year-old girl with cystic fibrosis who finds a lost dolphin in the creek behind her house. While I was writing this story, I learned that dolphins can have pneumonia caused by the same rare bacteria that causes lung infections in CF patients, which totally blew my mind. As Penny bonds with the dolphin, who she names Rose, she has to come up with a plan to get Rose back to her pod, even if Penny's CF tries to get in the way. No Matter the Distance is the first novel ever written about a character who has cystic fibrosis that is also actually written by an author with CF. Although Penny's story is different than mine, No Matter the Distance is directly inspired by many of the experiences I had growing up. In fact, I'm recording this video a few days after getting home from a CF hospital stay, much like the one Penny experiences in the book, and I'm currently doing a course of home IV antibiotic therapy, just like Penny does. It's been so special to get to share this very personal book with readers. I hope that you will love it as much as I do, and I can't wait to meet you next spring. All right, if you're eager to purchase the Novel Idea books as a holiday gift for yourselves or a loved one, uh, we have our booksellers here tonight, uh, Paulina Springs, waving over there, there you go. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, you can also visit your local library and check out a copy in person or online. We have several copies of each book here tonight downstairs. Uh, also, we have two uh, Novel Idea uh, author events planned. Uh, so Cindy Baldwin will be presenting May 18th at 2 p.m. right here at the Downtown Bend Library. And then the Shark Heart event with author Emily Habeck is scheduled for Saturday, June 1st at 6 p.m. at Caldera High School. 
Uh, free tickets will become available on May 11th, uh, 2024 at all libraries throughout Deschutes County. Uh, all right, and you may have noticed we have a lot of new chapters happening at the library. We recently opened remodeled libraries in Sisters and Lapine. Uh, we are currently remodeling the Sun River Library and we are continuing construction on the new 40,000 square foot library in Redmond. Uh, we plan on breaking ground this winter on a new central library at Stevens Ranch. Um, and don't forget, uh, once we do all that, we'll be remodeling this building as well. So this will mean, uh, be an integral part of our libraries. Um, so lots of good things are happening. Check out our Future Libraries page on our website to learn more. Uh, remember to purchase your author author, author author tickets online at the Library Foundation's website. And check out our purchase novel idea books tonight. Happy reading, safe travels, and thank you all. Thank you.